Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to write our first AWS Lambda using Rust and deploy using our AWS console. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to our cargo.toml file and here we'll add a few dependencies. First of all, we need is Lambda HTTP with latest version and then we need Tokyo with version as latest and features as macros and then we'll build our project. So once our dependencies are added, we'll move to our main and here we'll code our first lambda and then serve it. So our first lambda here will just receive a query parameter and basically it will form a string and return in the response. So let's code it. We sync fn handler and this receives an event which is a request and we return a result which is a response with body or an error so first of all we'll extract our query parameter so we'll say name even dot query string parameters ref and then we'll say params and params dot first name unwrap or if uh, we don't have any query parameter then we'll default to semicolon and once we have this we'll extract the id so we'll say event dot lambda context dot request id and then we'll form a message so we'll just say format hello and name your request id is and here we'll pass our id so then we'll form a response so we'll just say response builder and status as 200 okay header as content type and we'll just say let's say application slash text body as message dot into and map error we'll just say let's say box new and unwrap and then we'll just return ok of response so this is how our first lambda looks like nice and clean now let's go ahead and serve this so we'll just say async tokyo man and here we'll just say run service one and pass our handler dot await and in the result we'll just say unit or error so make sure you use all the imports from lambda http as we just used and uh, now we'll build it and then we'll zip it so go to your terminal and make sure first of all you install this package which is cargo lambda so if you are using a mac you can use homebrew or any other package manager and in windows also you can use any package manager to install cargo lambda so once you have cargo lambda you can just do cargo lambda build in release and arm 64 so just press enter so once your uh, lambda is built completely we'll go ahead and in the terminal we'll just say ls and cd to target ls cd to lambda ls and cd to your project name for me it's rust backyard and then ls you will see this boot bootstrap so clear and then we'll just do zip and the name of your zip file so let's say i want to name it as dummy dot zip and we'll just say bootstrap and now if you do ls as you can see you already have your zip file here now let's move to our aws console and we'll create our function there and use the zip file so once you are in your console you can either search for lambda or if it is recently visited you can just go and recently visit it and press create a function and then here you can select from scratch use a blueprint or container image but we are using from scratch and then here we can give the name so let's say i just want to give the name as dummy 
the runtime that we'll select is Amazon Linux 2023 and ARM64 as you remember in the command we build for ARM64 and rest all let's keep as default and we'll create function so once our function is created we'll come to this screen and here we will move to upload from and here we have to add our zip file so press this and now here you have to give the path for your zip file so as you guys can see i already uploaded my zip file here and then we'll just press save so now our lambda is safe you can go ahead and create a test and test it as well but for us let's go to configurations and here we will go to function url and basically we want a function url so we'll just press create so you can see create function url just press this and you can uh, set any authentication so let's see let's say i want to keep this public for now so i'll just press none so this will be public for everyone and then we'll just press save and once we save this we will see a url here so let's copy this function url and go to our any favorite testing tool and try to test it so here in Samonia, we'll press http request and we'll paste our url and let's say we send the request without any query parameter and as you can see it defaults to semicolon it, it says hello semicolon your request id is and sends the request id and what if we pass our query parameter so it was name and the parameter we pass as jack so there you go hello jack similarly let's say if i pass david it says hello david and as you can see this url is also from aws so our lambda is successfully deployed and as you can see it's working fine as well so that's how you can basically create serverless lambda functions and deploy them and work with them using rust so if you learn something new please like the video share with your friends and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you Bye bye